Jr. throws his final practice shot. Thank you for joining us on this highly anticipated matchup between David Williams Jr. and Mike Taylor for the semifinals at the North American Shuffleboard Championships. And we're watching two of the top pros in the country right now go head to head. David Williams Jr. will be throwing red and Mike Taylor is throwing blue. David Williams Jr. starts it off by throwing a deep three down and Mike Taylor hits it right off. You're gonna notice that their accuracy throughout uh, this game is extremely high and uh, I think we're in for a great show on how to lag and how to hit, how to stick, and how to score. So these guys uh, do it all. David Williams Jr. shot a right-handed thumb shot to stick that and Mike Taylor come back off the rail with a cup shot, stick it back. And notice these guys each approach the weight uh, a little bit differently. With David Williams Jr.'s thumb shot, he is approaching the weight more square, whereas Mike Taylor is uh, sort of coming at a steeper angle on his cup shot. Now whatever uh, shot is best is what's best. And Mike Taylor opens it up with a three for the hammer, a big three. And it looks like we're still waiting for the other camera to come up. Our cameraman, you can see him there fiddling with the camera. So that should be coming on shortly. But until then, we're going to watch it from this angle. And uh, David Williams Jr. takes his opportunity to wrap that puck. Now you see, this is actually a good angle to see. That's still open. It might have come in there a little bit, but David Williams Jr. was hoping on a slightly better come in there, and uh, Mike Taylor missed it. So he was trying to stick David's shot, but uh, unfortunately he clipped his own, and uh, now David Williams Jr. is working with two weights on the board. He throws up a cover shot. And Mike Taylor does not miss twice. And he rolls it over. Doesn't stay on the board, and David has a ace on the board, one point on the board. Now he goes deeper around it. And that tucked in there a little bit better. Uh, it might have actually gone so far as to be open from the other side. It is, looks like. And Mike Taylor missed that shot again. Now Davis is checking to see if that's close enough on a two line. He might split it into a four. And uh, come back at Mike Taylor with more. He might just be trying to lag right here. Looks like he's just trying to lag. Oh, and he lags off. So David Williams Jr. is at one point and Mike Taylor is at three points. Right-handed pass shot, potentially. Uh, doesn't quite get by it. You'll see these guys play some pretty aggressive shots um, where they'll, they'll leave quite a bit of weights on the table. Wow, good shot. Uh, that might be two for the price of one. Uh, but you'll notice they're playing with, there's three weights on, on the table. This is, Not a lot of players can play this way. A lot of players can uh, sort of end up losing a lot of points with when you have a lot of weights on the table, you have a lot of high point uh, frames. But these guys, uh, this is their style of play, and both of them play very strategically uh, with a lot of sort of delicate pass shots, and they can, uh, these are two of the best guys uh, in the world at this particular style of play. Whereas somebody like uh, Bob Perry or uh, maybe Bobby Voorhees would so keep the board clean. These guys don't mind playing with a few weights on the table and trying to create those bigger frames.
Mike Taylor splits his ones. And it looks like David is going for a stick. And he leaves Mike Taylor with the opportunity to stick for two. Or, and that looks like that's what he's going to do. Very accurate. Mike Taylor sticks for two. 5 1. Mike Taylor. And there comes our second camera. Wonderful. Mike Taylor takes a right handed thumb shot. And that's right in David Williams Jr.'s wheelhouse, really. He, uh, cut the, you'll see him shoot that right handed thumb shot quite a bit throughout the game. And you notice the speed that Mike threw that weight at. Uh, I don't think he was trying to stick the weight because of the speed. He's just trying to fire off the side right now. He has a good lead. And he's going to, at this point, with his lead, keep it by playing a more conservative game. So you'll see him switching from strategies where he's trying to get a big lead early. And from now, he's just going to try to maintain his lead and be the first to score 15 points. Whereas he might have gone around this earlier, he's just going to blast this off. Keep the board clean. And a right-handed freehand shot from Dave Williams Jr. Comes down to a one. David Williams Jr. has two points. And Mike Taylor has five points. Hammer goes to blue. Mike Taylor. Again, you notice that uh, the speed that he's throwing him at, that's his hit off the side of the puck, the side of the weight speed. Whereas uh, if he was trying to stick it, he'd throw it a little bit softer. and probably come at it from a, a less steep angle, a more square angle. And Dave Williams Jr. throws up a short weight. This is a side of their game that we haven't seen yet. And Mike Taylor actually throws one up there that uh, David might not be able to hit off. That's a really, <laughs> that's a hard shot to, to throw fast at. And he bumps him up, oh my gosh. Okay, now we got three weights on the table. Mike Taylor's got one working, and I think he's just taking two points. So without having to uh, try real hard to get a two or a three, Mike Taylor, Mike Taylor just threw uh, a short one, took his points, and he doesn't need to score a lot of points, so he just took two points, and uh, the score is now seven to two. Mike Taylor has a five-point lead, and... Uh, You'll see on the scoreboard there that uh, David Williams uh, Jr. is scoring just uh, one point on, on his hammer, and Mike Taylor's scoring a three and then a two, and then he just took a point for another two points per frame, and uh, he's moving right into where he needs to be to win this game at this point. Uh, again, with a very firm shot. And at this point, I think David Williams is trying to draw a stick from Mike Taylor. And that was it. So now he's going to try to potentially go around it or, or maybe put a setup shot on it. Um, but he wants one working here. Oh, that was an opportunity. And Mike Taylor throws up a shallow one, and if uh, he's going to have to try for a lag here. David Williams Jr. goes for two points or three points. It's slowing down. That looks like a two. Mike Taylor says that's two points. And just like that, David Williams Jr. is only three points down. 
Score is four to seven. And Mike would like to score another two-point frame here. Um, but any points at all at this point uh, is just fine. He just needs to keep advancing that scoreboard. And he'll probably uh, score 15 for David just because of the lead right now. Wonderful arcing shot right into the two. Mike Taylor takes it away. Very accurate. We haven't seen uh, either of these guys really miss. And he takes his one point and maintains a four point lead. And that's actually within striking distance for David uh, Williams Jr. Maybe not uh, against Mike Taylor, but uh, a four-point uh, lag is right there. And if he can guard a two somehow and maybe uh, wrap in another two, that might be where he goes. So now look at this shot here. Started to curl it back in there. Didn't. It seems like it's still open, but that was a really nice depth uh, on that shot. And if he could have... Tucked it in behind there. That would have been a great shot. Oh, he just barely shaved it. You see how hard that is? That, I mean, he almost had it in there. And he gets another feel for it. Didn't go quite as deep this time. It looks like it's tight. Uh, it's maybe exposed about a half a weight. If you look on the right side, you saw about a half a weight. There it is. Mike Taylor picks it out of there. Target practice. And he's going to get one more shot at it. Looks like he tried to take the alley a little bit sooner on the table. And look at it come right into that area there. Very well protected. He's probably got about 75% of that protected, but it is open. And this shot's going to take some... Concentration, technique, and Mike's thinking about it. He's looking at his line. He's reevaluating his shots. He's lining it up. As soon as he knows what to do, he does it. What a great shot. And last time. Oh my gosh. Last time he put in a two there. And this time he lags off. David Williams Jr. lagged off. And Mike Taylor stole one point. So Mike Taylor throws the first weight of the frame down the table and intentionally throws it off so that David Williams Jr. will have to uh, actually try to set something up to get action to work with. So... Uh, Threw the first one off, and now it's hit and go. This is what's called a hit and go uh, defense here. So Mike Taylor's playing an excellent defensive game. He's going to wait for this to stop, line it right up, hit it off the side. And he's going to make David uh, only be able to score with one weight. Uh, so the most points that he'll, he could possibly get at this point uh, with one weight is four points. And um, and that keeps him out of striking distance. And especially with that lag off, that's going to uh, this defensive strategy by Mike Taylor is going to play very well. Uh, so David Williams Jr. takes one point, and Mike Taylor is coming down to the other side of the table. First weight. Sets up right about at the uh, blue logo, and that's a good spot because if Mike sticks it right there, then David can curl it around and potentially work this frame for, for a couple extra points. So Mike Taylor already had his big frame kind of early on in the you know first frame and uh, has maintained that ever since. David Williams Jr. is still trying to set up 
uh, a big frame to catch up. And that was accidentally uh, stuck there. I think he wanted to hit that off the side. This may be an opportunity for David to go around. Looks like he's going to take it. And doesn't quite get there. So now Mike Taylor has one way to head. And it looks like he's trying to go around it. And he does pretty successfully. Oh, he almost found out where a four was right there. And that would not, uh, well, who knows, but it would have been a difficult shot for David to hit after that. Now Dave Williams Jr. tries his hand around the uh, wall that's been built there. And it doesn't quite curl around, doesn't quite go deep enough. But Mike's going to go around the other side of that because that side of the table is pretty open. It looks like he gets one pass there. One point, Mike Taylor. Keeping his lead. Scores 5-10. And in Mike Taylor's first three hammers, he scored, five, uh, looks like, seven points in three hammers. And then the success of three... He scored, um, well, one without the hammer and two ones. So he uh, just had to get that initial lead, and David Williams Jr. is playing catch-up. Now they're going back and forth again. And this is David's hammer. And he's trying to set something up, putting up different shots, uh, trying to draw a stick, maybe make Mike shoot a shot that he's slightly uncomfortable with. Um and stick it. And that's a right-handed freehand shot from the left-handed side. And uh, it's actually quite a beautiful shot to see. It just kind of loops right around there um, at a really nice angle. And Mike hits it off the side again. Slightly different angle on that. It's going to get him a deeper feel. And he lagged off again. So the score is now 5 10. Hammer switch. Now Mike Taylor has uh, the hammer on this shot. And David Williams is uh, now he's trying to steal points. So he sets up right there. And Mike's going to hit and go again. Try to keep the table clean and uh, just lag, score one, maybe two points, get on 12, and uh, and then go out as quickly as possible. So David sets up on the opposite side of the table, draws a stick. That's exactly what he was trying to do. You notice Mike Taylor has a tendency, the second one that he stuck, on uh, shooting left-handed. So if you're playing Mike Taylor and you're trying to draw a stick, your chances are... Uh, higher, I guess, if he's shooting left-handed. That's what David found out during this game. He's got one out there. Sticks it. Now, that's two. That might be a double for David, but he might even also want to go around that all, all the way. Uh, it could be a nice wall for him. It looks like he's trying to go around. And if he's able to do this... Oh, man, he wanted that. He needed it. And this is... This might be bad news for David Williams Jr. right here. And that's four points. So that puts Mike Taylor on 14. Game point against five. And... This is how you close out a game. You throw your first one off. You don't give your opponent anything to go around. So Dave is going to try to set up, but instead of hitting it and sticking it, he's just going to hit it and not stick it. Hitting it off the side of the, at, a, at a pretty good firm speed that will guarantee nothing's left on the table when it's done. And David's making sure to keep weights on the table to give himself a chance. 
Floats one down there into a two, pretty deep two. And Mike hits it right off. Real firm shots there. And a looping two. This one a little bit shallower. And Mike hits it off. And one more shot down. Dave will take one. And the score is 6 to 14. This is Mike Taylor's hammer. And David Williams Jr. needs to steal a point here. Mike Taylor cannot score, otherwise, the game is over. So. He sets up right around the Sands Regency uh, logo on our shuffleboard table there. And Mike sticks him. Looks like he drew a stick that he was looking for. Now David's going to go down there a little bit further. And Mike Taylor keeps game on the board. Slightly different placement. And that's a stick. He, I don't think he wanted to stick that. Now there's an opportunity here for David to go around. Looks like he's taking it. And he might have an opportunity to get right back in this game. If he can make this stop right here. Oh. And it looks like he conceded the game. And he's trying that shot again with Mike Taylor's last weight. Still couldn't get it. Mike Taylor takes the first game of the match. 15 to 6.